Yup, don't mind me, I'm just chewing some gum. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't like making intros, that's kind of boring. But, welcome to another devlog in my devlog series. Yes, I'll say it again. We're making pocket fish, 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 guys. Can't even say the name of my own game. In this video, I'm going to be looking into making, um, luring fish, dropping bait, the fish go to the bait and eat it, just a bunch of, just a, you know, uh, interactive fishing system, and making some gosh darn good content on the way, boys. Let's go. All right. So basically I got distracted and I didn't fix any of my bugs, but I added this fishing line. Oh yeah, amazing. It looks way better than those balls that were there literally moments ago. But I can't show you them because they're gone. No, the balls did not just disappear. Get your, mi get your mind out of the gutter, man. Yes, indeed, this is very cool. Now, I don't know how this works, Literally right after I coded this fishing string, I restarted Unity. I'm like, wait, uh, why is this working? <laughs> so yeah, it, it, it works. It's, it's cool. And I also added something else pretty cool. Oh, I, I, uh, wait, did I tell you guys I added lights? I think I did, but basically, yeah, there's lights now. But adding one big light to my game gets rid of 100 FPS. I lose 100 frames per second by one light. So, if I take a look at my ghost hook light, if I do some of this, you could see that that is another light, right? <laughs> False. That is not a light. I had to draw that. And that right there, boys, saved me 20 frames. Let's go. I could be having 200 frames per second, but lights, you gotta have them, right? So now I can go to my Trello board and check this sucker off the list. A <laughs> bop and I don't know if I really want enemy fish in the game. The idea is that the fish chases your hook and you have- I want enemy fish in my game. Okay, so I just woke up, but I want to show you guys what I have so far. So basically when you come near a hook, they kind of go towards the hook. Oh, and yeah, I also added that cool sound effect. Now I need to fix the problem where they get like way too fast for some reason. What I really want to do is Roxanne. Alright, so I finally got the enemy fish to function properly. This is how it looks. It's They kind of follow your hook and you have to kind of try and run away from them. It adds a lot. Of, it's buggy, but it adds a lot of more action. It's pretty awesome. What's up, bro? Uh, usually at this point, I add like a text at the bottom of the screen that says subscribe, but... You know, I want to go face to face. If you like this content, man, I mean, like, hit me up with that subby sub. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> anyway, uh, you know, uh, you can keep watching. But now I'm going to add a bait dropper so that you can drop bait and it stops the fish from going toward your hook. So, I'm actually pretty excited. Let's do this. All right, so I tweaked the baitable fish a bunch and I think I got it to where I like it. And now I could finally add a bait dropper to the hook to kind of evade the fish. So all I have to do is, before the last link, just spawn a box. A big box. No, I'm just kidding. But y'all already know what it is. Vector stock. Alright, so I think this one right here is the winner. Maybe this one too. But yeah, let's download the preview image. Hey, 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 what's up, guys? Um, I accidentally lost all the audio for when I made the bait dropper. But like on screen you just saw right now, uh, it has a bunch of bugs. So just imagine I made a bait dropper and it had a ton of bugs. All right, so let's get to the next part of the video. All right, so I fixed it. Quite literally, all I did was instead of saying less than links is equal equal links, like big brain time. I've been saying links a lot. Get, get. Get that out of here. I don't, I don't eat candy. Anyways, I've been saying the word links a lot. What on earth are links? It's basically, oh, hold on, shit, No, no face reveal, only knowledge reveal. So basically what links are is, you have this cool rope, right? Just like this. It's, it's not that cool on paper, but it's a lot cooler in a game. So you have this rope and how would you make that in a game? So basically you just have a bunch of links and then to make it look like a rope, you draw a laser in between all of them 
and give it a texture. And then you have a cool looking rope. So basically all I did was I put my bait dropper on a link. That's it. Big brain time. Nope, a ship. No, no face reveal, only knowledge reveal. Anyways, let's get back to the video. And then I just hit play and wow, would you look at that? It's like magic. And the cool thing is, since it's attached to the link, the can is always going to be on the rope and rotate with it, which is pretty awesome. I mean, not rope, fishing line. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. Now I have a bait dropper and it's time to actually drop bait because look how hungry these guys are. I have no food in this ocean. Guys, is it just me or does this bait dropper look like you in quarantine? Because it looks sick. Look at that. I am so glad I added this bait dropper. There's just so much more action and it's just so original now. All right, so now I need to give the fish a brain to say, oh, me seafood, me eat food. So basically put them on a seafood diet, not a seafood diet, a seafood diet because right now they only want this metal bar for some reason and i need to make bait dropping sounds and animations so let's do it all right so it's early in the morning nah but i added a lot of things but i'm gonna show you how bait dropping works first so if we jump right into it as you go down you'll hear some sound effects which is pretty cool added water and then this sound effect so that when you use ghost hook it's just more bubbles and then now since the fish go towards you, you can drop some bait. And you get the chest. There you go. And I can't just emphasize enough on how glad I am I actually added bait drop into the game. It just added so much more action. At first, it was kind of a thought at the back of my head. I was thinking about it. I wasn't sure, but now I just absolutely love it. Yeah, I'm chewing gum because I'm a cool dude. Anyways, I did another oopsie where I accidentally lost the audio for the 10th part of this video. <laughs> my bad. Anyways, in this part of the video, I just do a lot of complaining about the hook going over the screen at the start of the game. And I show you some cool uh, slash lame code that prevents it. Uh, that code that you're looking at right now, prevent hook harden at start. It's pretty self-explanatory. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, let's get back to the next part of the video. Jump, jump! And now, finally, I need to fix this reel in transition. Alright, so I improved the reel in transition. So now, it's quite smooth. And that fish just kind of said otherwise, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already, if you enjoyed. And with that being said, well, actually, in the next video, I'm going to be looking into being practically done with this feature of the game, honestly. Really exciting to finish such a, uh, I wouldn't say big, but it's been, a, uh, it's been a couple months, I think, on this feature. No, about a month. Anyways, it's exciting. That's all I got to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.